that he could see a path to an agreement yesterday, but that's no longer the case. We can't be spending more money next year. We have to spend less than we spent the year before. McCarthy said there hasn't been movement by the president, who he said he hasn't spoken with today. Mr. Biden is in Japan at the G7 summit, but is returning earlier than planned because of the lack of an agreement. Christopher Cruz, CBS News, Washington. The Ukraine has been at the top of the to-do list at the summit. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer is in Hiroshima. The G7 leaders announced today that they had put in place the money Ukraine will need for the rest of this year and the start of 2024. Britain and Europe are already working on sending F-16s to Ukraine uh, in spite of fears that those American-made fighter jets may escalate the conflict. Jack Texera is due at a Boston courtroom shortly for a bail hearing. He's the National Guard member accused of leaking highly classified documents showed up on social media. Former government National Security Division prosecutor David Aaron says he may stay at locked up. Anything in his background that goes to trustworthiness, in particular, the allegation that they've made that he, in some sense, lived a double life, that he concealed some aspects of his life from the Air National Guard and from others. Uh, that undermines any idea that the judge should rely on his word or other conditions. Another case of alleged leaking involves a D.C. Metro cop now under arrest. Here's WTOP's Nick Ionelli. Shane Lamond, a D.C. police lieutenant, is facing federal charges of obstruction of justice and making false statements. Prosecutors say Lamond provided inside information to Enrique Tarrio, the former leader of the Proud Boys, in December of 2020 after Tarrio was involved in a rally in D.C. where a Black Lives Matter banner was stolen from a church and burned. Lamond allegedly tipped Tarrio off that he was going to be arrested in the case. And prosecutors say in doing that, Lamont interfered with the investigation. Nick Ainelli for CBS News, Washington. The Reverend Al Sharpton was among those who spoke at funeral services for Jordan Neely, the man choked by a fellow New York subway rider who saw him as a threat. We should not, not celebrate Jordan's life, but we should not ignore how he died. A 24-year-old Marine veteran has been charged with manslaughter. Another Republican has joined the presidential race. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott says he's running. On Wall Street, Dow is down 83 points. The Nasdaq has lost 38. This is CBS News. Here's your updated WLKM 95.9 forecast. Lows dip down to about 44 tonight under cloudy skies with scattered thunderstorms likely. Winds out of the northwest 8 to 15 miles an hour. Sunshine mixed with clouds at times tomorrow. Daytime highs approaching 65. Clear skies tomorrow night. Lows dip down to about 44. I'm weatherology meteorologist Derek Height. Currently it's 64 degrees. The mix. 